When talking about genetic material, we have two main types, DNA and RNA. RNA is one of two nucleic acids. It contains adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. RNA is a single-stranded nucleic acid and is shown here in its linear form. However, complementary regions in RNA can recognize each other on the molecule, and hydrogen bond together, forming a small loop. Suppose we have a linear RNA molecule. When we read it from 3 to 5, we read the following bases. U, A, G, A, U, G, G, C, G, G, A, 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 G, C, G, C, C, A, U, A, A, U, G, C. At first, this just looks like a random sequence of nucleotides. However, if we look at the highlighted regions and set them next to each other, we find that they are complementary to each other. This causes an RNA secondary structure to form, which we commonly call hairpins. This hairpin previously shown was rather simple, however they can get much more complex. Let's take a look at one of the more complex examples of an RNA secondary structure. Shown here is rRNA, or ribosomal RNA, folded up into a complicated secondary structure. This is the 16S secondary structure of rRNA. As you can see, RNA being single-stranded holds the potential to become a great number of different structures.